Have you ever thought about starting your own organic garden? Welcome to a world where the earthy aroma of fresh soil, the sight of budding leaves, and the joy of harvesting your own fruits and vegetables are part of everyday life. This is organic gardening, a practice that's as rewarding as it is revolutionary. Organic gardening offers numerous benefits. For starters, it's a boon to your health. Consuming homegrown organic produce means you're ingesting fewer harmful pesticides. It's also an environmentally friendly practice. Organic gardening supports biodiversity, enriches the soil, and reduces pollution by eliminating synthetic fertilizers and pesticides. Moreover, organic gardening can be a cost-effective solution to skyrocketing grocery bills. Growing your own food can significantly reduce your monthly expenses. And let's not forget the satisfaction of eating something you've nurtured from seed to plate. So, if you've ever considered starting an organic garden, then you're in the right place. Let's dig into the soil together and begin this enriching journey. The foundation of a successful organic garden lies in the soil. In the same way a builder wouldn't dream of erecting a house on shaky ground, you shouldn't contemplate planting seeds without first ensuring that your soil is in tip-top condition. Preparing your soil may not be the most glamorous part of gardening, but it is undeniably one of the most critical. So, what makes soil so important, you ask? Well, it's the support system for your plants. It provides them with the essential nutrients, water and air that they need to grow and thrive. Different plants prefer different types of soil. Some thrive in sandy soil, others in clay, while many prefer a loamy mix. Knowing your soil type is the first step to improving its health. Let's delve a bit deeper into this. Sandy soil, for instance, is light and drains quickly, but it can struggle to hold on to nutrients. Clay soil, on the other hand, retains water well, but can become compacted, making it hard for plant roots to spread. Loamy soil is usually the ideal mix, offering good drainage, plenty of nutrients, and a nice, crumbly texture that plants love. But don't despair if your soil type isn't ideal. You can improve any soil type with compost. Compost is decomposed organic material, such as leaves, grass clippings, and kitchen scraps. When you add compost to your soil, you're essentially adding nutrient-rich organic matter which improves soil structure, boosts nutrient content, and promotes healthy microbial life. Composting is a fantastic way to recycle waste, improve your soil, and nurture your plants all at once. It's an essential part of organic gardening that not only benefits your garden, but also the environment. But remember, soil preparation is not a one-time job, it's an ongoing process. Keep adding organic matter to your soil, keep testing its pH levels and nutrient content, and keep adjusting as necessary. Remember, a healthy soil equals a healthy garden. Your plants are only as robust as the soil in which they grow. So invest your time and energy into creating the best possible environment for them, and they will reward you with a lush, productive garden. Choosing the right seeds is another crucial step in starting your organic garden. You see, the seed is the foundation of your plant. It's where it all begins. So, making a wise choice here is paramount to the success of your organic gardening endeavor. Let's delve into the importance of seed selection, shall we? Seeds are the very heart of your garden. They are the life force that will grow into the lush, bountiful plants you envision. The selection of seeds is not just a random process. It's an art, a science, and a bit of intuition all rolled into one. Now you might be wondering, what's the difference between organic and non-organic seeds? Well, organic seeds are produced without the use of synthetic pesticides and fertilizers. They are bred for organic tolerance, meaning they are more resilient and adapted to organic growing conditions. Non-organic seeds, on the other hand, are often treated with chemicals and are less likely to thrive in an organic setting. When selecting your seeds, there are a few key factors to consider. Firstly, the suitability of the plant to your specific climate and soil conditions. Secondly, the health benefits and nutritional value of the plant. And lastly, the natural resistance of the plant to pests and diseases. Where can you buy these organic seeds, you ask? Well, there are numerous online retailers, local garden centers and seed banks that offer a wide variety of organic seeds. Just remember to always look for the certified organic label to ensure you're getting the real deal. Another tip when buying seeds is to opt for heirloom varieties. These are traditional varieties that have been passed down through generations. They are genetically diverse, full of flavor, and often more resilient than modern hybrids. 
In conclusion, the journey of organic gardening starts with a single seed, the right seed. It sets the tone for the rest of the garden. It's the beginning of a cycle that, with care and attention, will result in a thriving, healthy and productive garden. Choose wisely, as the right seeds can make all the difference. Now that we have our soil ready and our seeds selected, it's time to plant. Let's delve into the process of planting seeds in our organic garden. Remember, the key to a successful garden is in the details. The ideal planting conditions, spacing and depth are all crucial factors that can make or break our gardening journey. So, let's start with the ideal planting conditions. The best time to plant most seeds is during the early spring or late autumn, when the soil is neither too hot nor too cold. However, it's always a good idea to check the specific requirements of the seeds you've chosen, as some may prefer different conditions. Moving on to spacing, a common mistake is to plant seeds too close together. This can lead to overcrowding, which in turn can stunt growth and increase the risk of disease. To avoid this, ensure each seed has enough space to grow and spread its roots. The general rule of thumb is to provide a space of at least twice the diameter of the seed. But again, check the packet for specific spacing guidance. Now let's talk about depth. Just like with spacing, planting your seeds at the correct depth is critical. Planting too deep can prevent your seeds from germinating, while planting too shallow can leave them vulnerable to drying out. A good rule to follow is to plant your seeds at a depth of two to three times their width. Next, we must address the importance of regular watering and sunlight. Water is the lifeblood of your garden, and sunlight is its energy source. Regularly water your garden, ensuring the soil remains moist but not waterlogged, and position your garden to receive at least six hours of sunlight a day. With all these elements in place, you're well on your way to growing a thriving organic garden. It might seem like a lot to remember, but believe me, it's worth it. And remember, gardening is a journey, not a race. With patience and care, your seeds will soon start to sprout. Pests can be a real nuisance in any garden, but especially in an organic one. But fear not, there are plenty of natural ways to keep these unwelcome visitors at bay, and we're going to explore some of them right now. Firstly, let's get familiar with our foes. Common pests in organic gardens range from small insects like aphids and caterpillars to larger creatures such as slugs and rodents. Each of these pests has a natural predator, and attracting these beneficial creatures to your garden can be a great way to control pest populations. For example, ladybirds feast on aphids, while birds and frogs are fond of slugs. So, consider adding a bird bath or a small pond to make your garden a haven for these helpful critters. Moving on, let's talk about DIY natural pest control solutions. A simple spray made from garlic or chili peppers can deter many pests. To make this, blend a handful of garlic cloves or hot peppers with a liter of water, strain the mixture and spray it onto your plants. Remember to wear gloves and avoid getting the spray in your eyes. Another DIY solution involves the use of companion planting, this is a method where you plant certain crops together to deter pests. For instance, planting marigolds near your tomatoes can help keep nematodes at bay, while basil can ward off flies and mosquitoes. Lastly, let's not forget about the use of beneficial insects. Introducing creatures like ladybirds, lacewings, and parasitic wasps can help control pests. These insects are available for purchase from many garden centers and online retailers. However, it's important to research which insects are native to your area before introducing them to your garden. In conclusion, while pests can be a challenge in organic gardening, there are many natural methods to keep them under control. From homemade sprays to beneficial insects, these strategies can help ensure your garden thrives without the use of harmful chemicals. With these natural pest control methods, you can keep your garden pest-free without harming the environment. Maintaining an organic garden requires consistent effort, but the rewards are well worth it. Caring for your organic garden is a labor of love that promises endless rewards. It's not just about planting and waiting for the harvest. It's a continuous cycle of nurturing and learning, of observing and adjusting, of effort and satisfaction. A key task in your garden is watering. All plants need water, but the trick is in knowing how much and how often. For most plants, it's better to water deeply and less frequently, encouraging the roots to grow deeper into the soil. Early morning is the best time to water, as it reduces evaporation and helps plants prepare for the heat of the day. 
Next up is weeding, a task that may seem tedious, but is crucial for the health of your garden. Weeds compete with your plants for nutrients, water and sunlight. Regular weeding will keep them in check. Remember, it's easier to pull out weeds when the soil is moist. So consider weeding after a good rainfall or after watering your garden. Maintaining the health of your soil is another ongoing task. Regular soil checks will help you ensure it's in good condition. Remember, healthy soil equals healthy plants. Consider having a compost pile to enrich your soil. Compost will provide nutrients for your plants and improve soil structure. As the seasons change, so do the needs of your garden. In spring, focus on planting and feeding your soil. Summer is the time to water, weed and watch for pests. Come autumn, think about harvesting and composting. Winter, although a quieter time, is perfect for planning and preparing for the next growing season. In organic gardening, every task, every decision is geared towards creating a sustainable, healthy and productive environment. It's about working with nature, not against it. Consistent care and attention will ensure your organic garden thrives year round. So roll up your sleeves, breathe in the fresh air and let your garden be your teacher. After all, every day is a good day when you're in the garden. So are you ready to start your organic gardening journey? The process might seem overwhelming at first glance, but remember, it's all about taking that initial step. We've walked through the essentials together, starting from soil preparation, choosing the right seeds, planting your garden, all the way to natural pest control and maintenance. Let's not forget the success stories we've shared. They are real people just like you who took the leap and are now reaping the benefits. From improved mental well-being to a healthier diet, the rewards of organic gardening are plentiful. So why not give it a go? Start small, perhaps with a pot of herbs on your kitchen window. You'll be amazed by how much joy a tiny green sprout can bring. Now we're excited to hear about your journey. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Share your organic gardening journey with us in the comments below. Happy gardening. Hey there, amazing viewers. If you're enjoying this video and want to stay updated with our latest content, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. And don't forget to show your support by smashing that like button. It really helps us out and lets us know you're enjoying what we're creating. If you think this video could be helpful to someone you know, please consider sharing it with your friends and family. We're also eager to hear your thoughts and ideas, so don't hesitate to comment down below.